Good housekeeping isn't only for your house. It has as much to do with cleanliness as it does with maintaining safety. No matter what kind of job you do or environment you work in, good housekeeping habits are a part of our everyday lives. A well-maintained workspace allows you to effectively manage your tools, materials, and the tasks at hand. And of course, it makes cleanup a whole lot easier. It's not just a matter of appearances. A clean workplace helps to protect us from slips, trips, and falls, health hazards, and also reduces the chances of things like fires and exposure to hazardous materials and vapors. So if good housekeeping reduces the chances of hazards, why do we tend to overlook it and develop less favorable behavior? Hmm? Well, let's discuss some of the reasons. One of the most prominent seems to come from the idea that as long as no one has been injured before, what is the point of observing good housekeeping policies? We think it just can't happen to us. In other words, we take our safety for granted rather than seeing it as something we can maintain through our actions. Now in this presentation, we will discuss good housekeeping procedures, the basics you need to know to keep your workplace clean, orderly, and under control. This knowledge and training will help you in preventing housekeeping hazards that lead to injury, illness, and even death. At first glance, good housekeeping may seem like it slows us down, but in the long run, it saves time because it prevents bigger problems and hazards. Take, for example, workplaces like these. They're not just hard to look at, they're also hard to work in. And in places with this much mess, everyone's safety is at risk. Keeping our workplace clean, orderly, and in sanitary condition keeps us compliant with OSHA standard 1910.22. This standard applies to the entire workplace and includes walkways, storerooms, and all working surfaces.